What's cracking with you, YouTube? <sighs> Shit. It's your man, King Howie. Just now leaving the motherfucking movie theater. Watching this old pussy-ass superhero movie. Um, Avengers Endgame or whatever. <clears throat> man, you know... I wanted to go to this other movie theater that got the nice reclining seats. You know what I'm saying? Cost about $22 to uh to sit and enjoy the film. And it's limited seating. You know what I'm saying? It's limited seating. But that shit was sold out. So I have to come to where the regular people go to the movies at. And my God, <laughs> no wonder I stopped going to regular people movie theaters. Jesus. All them damn kids, and I had this one chick behind me. Whenever you know they did something funny on the movie, and that that weird ass, that dumbass movie, I can't even. In game was I ain't gonna say it was a bad movie. I'm gonna just say it was all right. You know what I'm saying? They could have did more with that fucking money they had, the budget they had. They could have did way more, but I had this weird ass, this weird ass lady sitting behind me, <laughs> with this weird ass laugh. She was laughing like. <laughs> like can you be any more annoying bitch like damn have some common courtesy you know your laugh sound dumb as hell but you still gonna sit up there and laugh like a fucking hyena getting choked like come on bitch god damn but anyway ah now that i got that fucking movie out of my system after everybody kept pumping me oh you gotta go see it it's an epic film it's so epic that movie was a. Uh, it was all right. It was all right. Endgame was all right. But um, let's get into it, man. You know, I'm I'm going through. You know, after the Packers draft is over with and shit, I'm going through all of the uh, channels that I'm subscribed to that 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 talk Packer talk, you know, football talk. And I'm surprised at some of the draft grades these these YouTubers gave out. Somebody gave this draft an A minus. I'll just say his name, Tom Grassi. You gave this draft an A minus. Come on, man. You one of the you one of the Packer YouTube tubers. I have a little bit respect for. I don't know you, so I can't have total respect for you. But I got a little bit of respect for what you do, man. Um, an A minus, bro. Uh, a minus with this draft with all of the potential picks that we passed up. We could have got better players, man. Every all the real people have been saying, "Oh, this draft class is a C." Now, of course, our first four, three to four draft picks are gonna be playing. They gonna play. Oh yeah, them boys gonna get out there and they gonna play. But come on, man, let's be real. Let's be real. An uh, A minus. I'm hearing people say, "Oh, a B minus. Oh, a B plus." I'm like, where? How? <laughs> how are you grading? How are you grading this draft? We, we we haven't even all we got is college football film on these dudes playing against guys that's typically either three years younger than them or damn near the same age. They not they not out there playing against dudes that's making ten million dollars a year. Pro bowlers, dudes that have been to the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, y'all. Let's let's let. <laughs> Let, let's let's think. Let's 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 use our brains. Come on now. A A minus. And it's funny how how these how how these Packer fans did they mock drafts. I'm just I'm just listening and laughing at the bullshit that y'all that y'all saying on y'all mock drafts. Y'all basically putting a mock draft together that benefits the Packers. Like y'all not doing it. Like I told y'all. Shit is gonna be weird in the in the draft, and it, it was weird. And you giving this damn draft a A minus? Whew, man. Mm, mm -mm. A A minus. How, how how did you get that? How did you get an A minus with this draft? <laughs> when some of the players that we had were some B and C and D dudes, that um ESPN and all the rest of them nonsensical uh sports tv shows put out there come on bro a minus 
I mean, hey, people are allowed to think what they want to think, but like I said, man, some people think logically and some people think in the Wizard of Oz land. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to anything in life, I'm not trying to say that, you know, uh, he's wrong and I'm right. I'm just saying <laughs> that, man, you got to just think a little bit. Like, come on, man. Some of these guys are going to be going to run into culture shock. Some of these guys going to get into the NFL system and just can't handle it. Not saying that that won't happen with, you know, the dudes that's playing with the Packers. We've had some people that we drafted that didn't pan out right. I mean, that's just the way it goes. Let's not, you know, be prisoners of the moment every year, every draft. Like, come on, bro. And shout out to the people that said I was delusional about how good this team was last year. Man, you don't know what the fuck you talking about, bro. <laughs> I know, I know one thing I do know what I'm talking about. I do know talent when I see it. And that team that we was fucking around with last year, I mean, it was talented, but not talented enough. So I don't know, man. I get this. Like I said, I get this, this draft, this draft class, a C, a, a strong C. You know what I'm saying? I can't be giving this draft class an A minus. If you really think about it, it really wasn't no big potential star that stood up, that stood out, but Kyler Murray. Basically, was Kyler Murray. He was the one that they was talking about. So you got to understand something about the draft. First of all, they have to find somebody um, in the draft that's going to be able to snatch headlines. And Kyler Murray was the one that did that. You know what I'm saying? And from here on out, it's probably always going to be a quarterback. It's probably always going to be a damn quarterback that's going to, you know, headline the draft. You know, that's what, that's what fucking, you know, promotes the draft is a top rated quarterback um next year they got some defensive tackle from auburn you know leading the way in um uh, another quarterback i forget his name get his name man i forget what school he go to too but it's it's between the defensive tackle and this other quarterback that's going to be headlining the draft next year so they have the dolphins getting the number one pick in the draft which i could see happening but you know things might turn out different so we're gonna see how these guys are we're gonna check these guys out we're gonna be watching we're gonna be watching but like i've told y'all before from my standpoint from my standpoint i think this was a solid c solid c um, we're going to have some giveaways during the season. I, I remember I, I, I told y'all about that. We're going to have some giveaways. We're going to be giving away, like, you know, some Packer socks, uh, Packer gloves, scarves, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Little, 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 little items. You know, we ain't going to try to go too heavy. Um, but, yeah, just, you know, get, just giving back. Just giving back. Maybe, you know, some game hats or whatever. We're going to try to give away some shit this season. Um, but... We won't know how good these guys will be until they are on the field and they are coached up to the highest level they could be coached up to. Um, remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, this is your man, King Howie, KHTV, and I'm out.